Welcome back to English Pod. My name is Marco. And I'm Erica. And today we're bringing you another great lesson about appointments. That's right. We've got an elementary lesson about canceling an appointment. That's a really common situation. Sometimes、mm -hmm. you have an appointment at the doctor's or something, or at work. And you have to cancel it. Yes. So, we're going to learn some great language to help you cancel appointments today. Let's go straight to the dialogue then. We're going to be listening as Samantha and Angela have a phone conversation, and Angela is trying to cancel an appointment. And it's going to be a little bit fast in the beginning, but when we come back, we will explain all the great vocabulary. Hi, Samantha. This is Angela calling. Oh, hi, Angela. What's up? I'm just calling about our meeting today. I wonder, is it possible to reschedule our appointment in the afternoon? I have a bit of an emergency that I need to take care of. Let me see. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm really sorry. I hope it doesn't inconvenience you too much. It's just this thing came up and. Angela, you know what? I can't make it to our meeting either. Why don't we postpone it to tomorrow afternoon at the same time? Sounds great. See you tomorrow. Angela? Angela, look up. See that lady over there who's trying on a red leather jacket? Isn't that Samantha? What? No wonder she told me she couldn't make it to the meeting. Oh no, I think she saw me. Okay, we have some really interesting words that you probably listened to in this dialogue, so、mm -hmm. let's start with language takeaway. Language takeaway. Today on Language Takeaway, we're bringing you three words.、Uh, Erica, what's the first one? The first word is reschedule. 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 When you reschedule an appointment, you change it for another day or time. Exactly. Great. The second word that we have is inconvenience. Inconvenience. Reschedule. Reschedule. Okay, let's see. Reschedule. 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 Can try to see the image in the photo. Reschedule. Reschedule. If it's seen, I think it's seen as a reschedule. Can we reschedule? Okay. Reschedule. I'm afraid. I'm afraid some things come up. Come up. Something came up. Okay, it came. I rescheduled the meeting. Cool. Can't you reschedule? So cool. Okay. Inconvenience. Inconvenience. So to inconvenience someone is to to make. Things not convenient for that person. <laughs>、right. So to make things a little bit difficult,、yeah. or to make things a little bit、um, uncomfortable, uncomfortable,、mm -hmm. inconvenience. And our third word is okay. So it's a little hard to to read the hungry schedule. Okay, the schedule.、Hmm. Inconvenience. 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 Inconvenience.、Mm, this means is trouble, or difficulty, or、uh, difficulty. Because the one special requirements are confirmed. Inconvenience. Yeah. But they hurt you. But they okay. Just see the photo. They. Wow.、Mm. Or try for inconvenient. Okay, I'm sorry for the inconvenient.、Uh, well, we usually see in the 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 worker some、uh, okay inconvenience. Oh, I usually see this work in the some、uh, building. Yeah, they they try they try to. Make something new, so they have some, yeah, inconvenience. Yeah, inconvenience store. <laughs> okay, 
Postpone. 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 We have some examples of the word postpone that will help you to understand its meaning a little bit better. Let's listen. Example one. Since Robert is late again, we have to postpone the meeting. Example two. I'm sorry, Simon, but your vacation has been postponed until next month. Mm, postpone us, okay? This Example three. Unfortunately, the flight will be postponed. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just see what does it mean. Postpone. No way. Oh. Postpone. Let's see what this mean. Postpone. Postpone. In the UK, the the, the UK speak that word is postpone. 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 U.S. Postpone. 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 Oh, okay. The the UK is the we have a strain in the the second word. Postpone. 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 Okay, the same, right? The same. Postpone. Postpone. Cool. Oh, and we can see the photo that uh, postpone the site. Oh, much. Oh, when uh, we have something we want to do in the third of February, but uh, we have something to do. We are busy, so we we take that work to the. Thursday, 12 March. Yeah. That's well. Mm. Mm, that's well. Cool. Oh. Huh. Oh, this way. This. Okay, basically postpone is to delay. That's right. Delay. Make yeah. it at a later time. At a later time. Mm -hmm. Okay, some great words there, and uh, we can listen to our dialogue a second time at a slower speed. Slower speed. Postpone. Hello, Samantha speaking. Hi, Samantha. This is Angela calling. Oh, hi, Angela. What's up? What's up? I'm just calling about our meeting today. I wonder... Is it possible to reschedule our appointment in the afternoon? I have a bit of an emergency that I need to take care of. Let me see. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm really sorry. I hope it doesn't inconvenience you too much. It's just this thing came up and... Angela, you know what? I can't make it to our meeting either. Why don't we postpone it to tomorrow afternoon at the same time? Sounds great. See you tomorrow. Angela, Angela, look up. See that lady over there who's trying on a red leather jacket? Isn't that Samantha? What? No wonder she told me she couldn't make it to the meeting. Oh no, I think she saw me. So. All right, so in this dialogue, we had some really great phrases that we should look at in Fluency Builder. Fluency Builder. We have three phrases for you today in Fluency Builder, and the first one is so common. It's a great phrase. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> so this is a very common way of saying hi. Yeah. What's up? How's it going? What's going on? Right. And now the interesting thing is that n many people don't know how to answer this phrase. Yes, I see this all the time with my students. So if you say, what's up, you should say... Not much. Nothing. Not much. Nothing. Nothing. So what's up? Not, Not much. much. Not much. <laughs> what's up? Not much. What's up? Oh, what's up? Oh, the way uh, my friends usually ask me, so what's up? What's up, man? What's up? Hmm, cool.
Cool. Hey, what's up, Doc? What's up? Nothing. What's up? Not much. Hey, what's up? Hey, <laughs> baby. Hey, the dog. Oh, what's up? What's up, pussy? Mm, cool. <laughs> All right. So the next time someone tells you what's up, now you know what to answer. Yeah. Okay. Our second phrase is can't make it. Can't make it. I can't make it. We use this phrase when we want to say I cannot oh, attend. I, I cannot make it. Yeah. I can't come. Oh, right. So if you're having a party today, I say, oh, I'm sorry. I can't make it. Mm -hmm. uh, it means I can't go. Exactly. Maybe one more example. So Marco, we've got a meeting today at three o'clock. I can't make it. I'm recording today. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, can't make it. Mm -hmm. Our last word for fluency builder, this. Make it. Make it. Make it the same mean they came. Something came up. Something make it. Mm -hmm. right. Something make it. Something came up. Make. Make. Make something came up. This is the way how to uh, learn vocabulary very first because uh, we try to see the picture um, in the photos, and after that, we see the, the news every day. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, how to do it. Learn English, Very movie, yeah. make it count. Okay. And uh, the movie and the news and more, the book and the economy. Okay. Very cool. Like right? this, a lot of photos you can see. Uh, make it, make it, make it. If that's your situation, make it has been come of the verb. Okay. Thing came up. This thing came up. This thing came up. This is a great way of giving an excuse for why you can't make it to right. an event. Mm -hmm. So I can't make it today because this thing came up. Like something... Something happened. Something happened. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. listen to a few examples of this phrase so we can see how it's used in the wild. Example one. I'm sorry that I'm late. This thing came up at work and I had to stay to take care of it. Example two. I can't talk right now. Something came up. Okay. Something. Example three. Sorry, I missed the meeting. Something came up. Something came up. Yeah. Okay, great example. And I guess it's perfectly clear now. Yes. So let's listen to our dialogue a third time. And now we're ready to... Came up. Oh, okay. This means, okay, you, you... Right now you can see the photo. Something came up. That means, oh, when you... Uh, Thinking about something, try to solve some problem, so something came up. Wow, you have an idea? Yeah, good idea, I mean. Yes, idea. And yeah, something came up. Okay, that works very, very good. But the children have a lot of idea. I children have something came up. With my baby. Understand things. Hello, Samantha speaking. Hi, Samantha. This is Angela calling. Oh, hi, Angela. What's up? I'm just calling about our meeting today. I wonder, is it possible to reschedule our appointment in the afternoon? I have a bit of an emergency that I need to take care of. Let me see. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm really sorry. I hope it doesn't inconvenience you too much. It's just this thing came up and... Angela, you know what? I can't make it to our meeting either. Why don't we postpone it to tomorrow afternoon at the same time? Sounds great. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Angela? Angela, look up. See that lady over there who's trying on a red leather jacket? Isn't that Samantha? What? No wonder she told me she couldn't make it to the meeting. Oh no, I think she saw me. No, I think she saw me. She saw so Erica, me. have you ever cancelled an appointment like this uh, under false pretenses? So, 
for for a fake reason. For a fake reason to go shopping. Um, well, I may not have you know told my boss, so I can't make it to a meeting because this thing came up, and then I really was going shopping, and mm-hmm. I've never done that. But mm-hmm. how about you, Marco? Well, you know, in Ecuador, soccer is a really big thing. Right. So um, when we were playing in the World Cup, Ecuador was playing, and uh, not you, but well, no, like yeah. the, the the Ecuadorian soccer team. Uh huh. I canceled an appointment because I was gonna go watch the game. Really, a business yeah. appointment. A business appointment. Well, I guess that's okay. Yeah, I mean, it was like the first time we were ever in the World Cup. And, you know, my boss didn't really put up much of a fight because I guess he also wanted to go watch the game. So very similar to the events in this dialogue. Very similar. Mm -hmm. I guess that's kind of the inspiration behind it. All right, guys, I hope you found some of these phrases helpful and useful. And remember, if you have any questions about anything you heard in today's lesson, please visit our website at EnglishPod.com. Right. There you'll be able to find more resources and also a large community to interact with. Yes, including me and Marco. Right. Mm -hmm. So we'll see you there. Until then, it's bye. bye.